You could build a bigger jail, but that's not going to solve the problems of the conditions and policies and practices. After struggling with capacity issues for years now, the Bell County Jail System will soon be expanding. The multi-million dollar project is expected to add hundreds of beds and additional resources for inmates. While some applaud that expansion, 25 News reporter Liam McNeil tells us some people believe it's a bad idea. Hard hats and cement trucks. Signs Construction is moving forward with a nearly $14 million expansion project for two of Bell County's jails. Uh, that will uh, almost double the capacity uh, of our existing jail, uh, adding or getting us uh, over 700 beds. Judge David Blackburn says talks of a diversion center for lower level offenders focused on mental health is also in its early stages. Which is a much more expensive option. Uh, for us and for the taxpayers, I'm optimistic uh, that we'll be able to put that plan and that facility together also. Where Blackburn sees progress, others see a problem. Instead of investing the money that their county is wanting to invest in building a bigger jail, we should look at front end issues. Chris Gundu works with the Texas Jail Project to fight for humane treatment of those incarcerated. How can you divert in the front end? Are they here because they're unhoused? Are they here because they're mentally ill? Are they here because they have a disease and addiction? All those are that shouldn't be criminalized. Gundu and Anna Harris, a local attorney, believe expanding the prison is unsustainable. It's triple the amount to rehab or pretrial diversions. Like, why not, you know, save tax dollars, increase public safety, rehab your residents? Bell County currently has contracts with eight other counties to house 261 inmates. I think those contracts will be reduced greatly when we uh, open the new uh, facility. I don't know that they'll ever go away. As far as that diversion center, Gundu and Harris say it's like a drop in the ocean. It's all the specialty courts and diversion programs that we have in play right now in the state are deplorable. Cut down the populations drastically, which means looking at pretrial services, investing in, in indigent defense. With expansion plans already in motion, Blackburn says his main priority is always the people of Bell County. Public safety have always been the number one priority. The expansion of the jail is just a reflection of that priority. Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Blackburn says that the expansions will be completed within the next 18 to 24 months.